Hi. Now, in this particular video, we'll talk about the animations. As we know that React works for the user interface and whatever we have done so far is all about the user interface. So putting the animations on the UI will always give you an additional effect and will make your UI look better. So let's see how to put some animations, some basic animations using the CSS transitions and transformations in your React application. So as far as the animation is concerned, the first thing which I will do in my React application is to install a package using npm and that is React Add-on CSS Transition Group. So once I will install this, I will be able to use this transition group elements in our CSS so that the effects will get reflected in our web page. So let's first install this. Alright, so as you can see here, now this package is installed and now we can continue with our other tasks. So what I will do next is we'll come to the notepad plus plus again where I have a couple of JS files for now that is index which will remain unchanged for now also and the next one is your app.js. So obviously here we will change the code. So we will write something which will help us in putting the transition but before putting the transition we'll do one more thing we will create one new file in which we'll put some set of CSS effects so here I have put these couple of changes means these couple of things like example appear and appear active alright so basically as you can see here I'm dealing with the opacity that means first one some text or something will come it will be 0.01 opacity means it will be a bit transparent and later in 500 millisecond or in any time span as per your choice it will be fully opaque means it will be fully visible so let me just save it I will save it in the public folder where I have index.html as well so let's create a new folder with the name style and inside this I will save it with the name styles.css alright now once I have created this one I'll have to do one more thing here that I'll have to pass the reference of this style in this HTML alright so for that I will come here and let me do here itself its link relation is equal to style sheet href is equal to styles that's the name of the directory then styles that's the name of file dot CSS so now the linking of this style sheet to this index is done now it all depends on this app.js that what all I want to send to this index alright because here in the index.js we have this app element and whichever I will export that thing will be applied to the web page so now here what I'm going to do is I have put this particular text the first thing is the react which is essential for any application but the next thing which I'm using here is the react CSS transition group which I just installed using the node package manager so this is a typical node syntax using require in order to import something alright so I just use that and inside this render what I'm doing is I'm using this react CSS transition group element basically this is something which will help us out in putting the transition effect means whatever I will put inside it will be able to put the animation alright so what we'll do here it's a transition name example alright as here you can see in the CSS also I use the similar name that is example alright so that's the transition name here now after that there are transition appear so it is true means if you will you pass some transition effect in order to make it appeared it will be true timeout will be 500 that is milliseconds and here in the styles as well it is 500 milliseconds so it's all uh, compatible to each other so let me just save it and come to the browser and before coming to browser I'll have to start the server first using npm start so we'll come here and we'll say npm start so now here you can see 
when the text will come it will be like first it will be blur and then it is fully visible like here you can see all right so let me just do some changes if you want to make it slower so we'll make it one min second for here and similarly one second all right so let me just refresh this all right so now it is coming comparatively slower all right so if you'll do the differences like here if i'll make it 200 me 2000 milliseconds so now it will not look good all right as here you can see at the end it was just uh, finishing it up why because here after one second the timeout will take place so obviously this two seconds will not work because it's timeout and the text will just appear at the end like that all right so if the things are smoother at both the end compatible then the transition will look good as here now you can see it's not uh, like a boom it's not coming like that it's just coming in the same way so this is one of the very simple example for putting the animation the transition in your web page now let's do one more thing which is again related to the transition and here we will be using some of the events as well so here what i'm going to do is basically i will add some more styles in the styles.css so here you can see like i have four classes all right so what i'm trying to do is i will add some elements in the list and i will remove some elements from the list so when i'm entering means when i'm adding some elements in the beginning they will be like transparent and at the end they will be fully visible similarly when you will remove some elements in the beginning when they are in the list it will be visible but when it will be removed it will be blurred all right so this is what we have done in these style sheets now the major changes will take place right here in this app.js file and now here i have taken the same things like first is the react second is the Re react css transition group which i have installed and now the main implementation takes place it's very simple all right you may think it's big but it's very simple the first thing is the constructor inside this class inside which first thing which we use is the super all right and then there's the state we already know about the state that can be changed so the reason why we took state not properties because we may add some elements in the items list and we may remove so this will get changed so there are some predefined elements like item 1 2 3 4 they these are from there from the beginning and then i have taken a couple of uh, methods like handle add handle remove so in case you want handle add what it will do it will first give you a prompt means a message like okay enter the element you want to add and as soon as you will enter that that new element will be added to this items all right means this, there will be a change in the state similarly if you want to remove what you will do you will simply say splice we have already used this splice in one of our video in the previous video when we were discussing about the lists so we saw how to work with these splice things all right so here there is a new item which will take and we will remove from that particular index and only one element will be removed so the remove element will again update the uh, things right there all right in the main items collection now there are these two methods but how i want to implement them that's again an reason here so the first thing which i want to do is when you will be seeing the elements if you will click over those elements they will be remove means at that particular time handle remove method will be invoked means in whichever item you will click those items will be removed and similarly we do have a button called add item and when you will click over those buttons it will call the handle add so this is basically helping us in adding the element and in that particular time as you have already seen this method will be invoked now at the end again the same transition things taking place so let's save this and uh, come to the browser so here you can see uh, add item one two three four these four elements have been added let me just add one more element so it's prompting me create new item all right let me say item 
5. So you will see now when I will add in the beginning item 5 is a blur but at the end it's fully opaque all right initially it was a bit transparent so item 6 you see right but now when I'll click over item 3 item 3 is fully opaque right now but when I'll click over it it will be a bit transparent and then will move away all right it will be removed so this is what we are doing here in the case of transition in the animation part of react you can simply just put a particular whichever the animation you require whether it's transition or something and then once you have installed that you can utilize in the similar ways tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning